Delicious cuisine, beautiful costume, specialties of the ethnic Korean minority makes Yanji stand out as a tourism attraction. One of the first things many young female tourists do is to visit one of the more than 600 studios in the city that offer makeup, dresses, and photography services. My makeup artist is a retired archer in her early 20s. During the busiest period, I don't get to leave the chair all day. No time even for going to the bathroom. Last year, Yanbian Korean Autonomous Prefecture, of which Yanji is the administrative capital, made half of its GDP from tourism revenue, exceeding 40 billion RMB. While overall GDP in Yanbian grew by 6.3 percent, tourism revenue jumped by four folds. During the holiday season, many hotels in Yanbin are booked at full capacity. At a hot spring resort that opened last year in the city of Longjing, a half-hour drive from Yanji, the general manager's smile suggests business has been encouraging. In the city of Tumen, an hour from Yanji, another hotel manager points to a new under-construction building aimed at expanding lodging capacity. Tumen receives fewer tourists than nearby Yanji, but locals say when cross-border travel to the neighboring DPRK resumes, probably sometime this year, the city will see a boom. Yanbian is the biggest of ethnic Korean enclave in China. Due to their linguistic advantage, many locals used to work in Korea and brought back home the coffee culture. The Young Blood Cafe in town is credited with making the original coffee cup design that tourists now take photos with. Owner Zhang says he's been able to rapidly expand businesses from a small balcony to multiple stores within the last year. We've sold more than 200,000 cups of coffee since last year. Zhang thinks Yanji's success is the result of both national planning and local efforts.